I am filming this with my iPhone. If you, oh, are you? If you want to talk or if you want oh, okay. me to shut it off or whatever. Well, it's up no, to you. you just go right ahead. I'm, I actually would like to see that if it's... Uh, get one of the kids to hold that and you can film me actually doing what I'm doing here. Okay, somebody want to hold the leg? Go ahead and hold that, David or, or Peter. David, I'm going to get you to come hold this front leg. Between the skin and the oh, this thing is very fat here. A bunch of blood just run out of there. Yeah. You're gonna see a lot of blood come out of the body cavity once I open it up. I I cut the cut through the to the body cavity there so we have some of the intestines coming through already. Um, I'll come back and open it up all the way when I once I get this guy opened up all the way up to the neck. Now, I'm not going to be mounting this head. If I was mounting this head, I would make sure I had a full cape. Um, I wouldn't go doing too much up here. Um, some guys that hunt, their mistake is they want, it, they want to keep the head for a trophy. And they, you know, they'll cut it off right here and you've got nothing to mount with. To, to make a proper mount, you want, you want to come way down over here. Mm -hmm. So, okay, built his head. Back. But I'm thinking I'm going to keep this hide, um, take the hide home with us as well, because uh, I'm interested in a buckskin. I don't know. Am I, I'm going to look into it, but I think that might be more work than it's worth. But. There's that's the fat you were talking about. That's the fat that I was talking about. So now I'm going to cut through. There's the sternum. Okay. I might be able to do it just with this knife. It's a small animal. Oh, that's fine. I'm going to have to split that with a hatchet which is in that Rubbermaid tote bin. You want to run and grab that? You know where the Rubbermaid tote bin is that I'm talking about? Is the back of your truck open? It's all locked up. It's all locked up. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. There's guts. So I don't... You put your knife... You put your finger in front of your knife. You don't want to be poking... You don't want to be cutting and, and ripping the guts open. So guard the tip of your knife with your finger and insert it. You can feel the other side of that muscle. And you can just zipper open the body the uh, body cavity like that without cutting these this guts. Same thing going this way. There's I just cut through the diaphragm is right here, and now I'm into the heart lung area where the bullet went and that's through. Where, yeah, the bullet's a lung shot, so that's why that's why we got so much blood there. You really don't want to cut the guts. So you make sure you. Uh, are careful doing this part of it. Can you lift that leg up a little higher there, Peter? More? Oh, there we go. Now you can always see the muscles in here coming, converging together for the pelvis. So now, there's the This is where I should have the hatchet. So pull, pull real hard. Yeah, just actually stand up on the uphill side and just pull. There you go. Okay, so that's the bone I got to split with a hatchet right there. Um, sometimes, no, it's too hard. But uh, I'm smelling a bit of smell. You know, there's a liver right there. This is the stomach and the intestines. There's uh, the kidneys are up in here. That's all the fat from around the kidneys. There's the liver. And this is the diaphragm right here. That, that's Just the sheep membrane. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, the me membrane of, of muscle. So I'll be cutting all the way around to get that out. Mm -hmm. So I do at this point need to go get the hatchet because I've got to cut up through the sternum to get them right open. So we can just leave it for a minute and I'll go get what I need. Can you put the legs down? Yeah, you can put the legs down. 